Hello, this video tutorial will provide you with a quick overview of AudioKinetic's SoundSeed Air technology. SoundSeed is a family of cross-platform interactive sound generators for game audio. As part of the SoundSeed family, SoundSeed Air is a WISE plugin bundle that consists of two separate source plugins, SoundSeed Wind and SoundSeed Whoosh. This tutorial will focus on the SoundSeed Whoosh plugin. SoundSeed Whoosh is a WISE synthesizer plugin that generates sounds as wind deflector objects travel through the air. Typical uses include creating close combat swooshes, bullet flybys, and motion sounds. SoundSeed Air technology provides many benefits including no source files are necessary as the wind sounds are generated by using parameter-based synthesis. This results in a huge runtime memory savings. Of course, some of these properties can be controlled dynamically to adapt to the context within your game using real-time parameter controls. Let's now take a closer look at SoundSeed Whoosh. Adding the SoundSeed Whoosh source plugin to your WISE project is easy. Simply select it as a source for any existing sound object in your project. Double clicking on the added SoundSeed Whoosh source displays the source plugin editor. Here, the SoundSeed Whoosh properties are broken down into two main areas. The left portion defines the traveling object using a series of definable wind deflector objects. Its trajectory is also defined using a user definable path. The right portion defines the simulation properties, some of which can also be controlled over time using automation curves. Let's now take a closer look at these properties and create some simple whoosh examples. By looking at our current whoosh settings, we have a single deflector, a simple object path, and an automation curve on the object speed parameter. Let's listen to these settings. The deflector properties allow me to tweak how the object air deflection sounds as it travels through the air. Let's listen to how these properties change the sound of the air deflectors. The frequency control sets the deflector's resonant center frequency. The Q factor control sets the deflector's peakiness or sharpness of the deflector's resonance curve. A high Q factor value should be used to simulate regular or round surfaces, whereas a low Q factor value should be used to simulate irregular surfaces. The rough shape of the object can be defined by adding air deflectors to the simulation. For example, a cone shape object could be created using high and low frequency deflectors. Let's now add another deflector to our simulation. Let's now listen to our simulation with our two deflectors. Let's now take a closer look at the object path and its functionality. The object path is basically a graphical representation of the whoosh path that the object will follow for the simulation. It also defines the distance-based volume attenuation of the sound as it moves through the simulation. The path can be as simple as a single point or can be defined by several points. To add a new point to the path, simply double-click in the graph view. Let's now take a closer look at the simulation properties and how they can be automated. The simulation properties affect the moving whoosh object as a whole. Random offset values can also be set here as well. Automation curves can also be used to define parameter offsets. Let's take a closer look at these. We are already using the object speed curve. So let's add some more points to shape the automation curve. Let's listen to how this affects the sound of our simulation. The time, speed point random, distance attenuation, 
and settings group boxes provide additional control over the WUSH simulation. For more detailed information on these controls, please refer to the WISE help. Let's now listen to some WUSH preset examples. Car pass by. Arrows. Weapon swing. Wings. Golf club. A flyby dagger. Wooden staff. That's it! You are now ready to create your own exciting whoosh simulation using Soundseed Wind, part of the Soundseed Air Bundle.